Hey guys, it's Tiffany of Tough Angel Books, and for this video, I'm going to be doing the sorting hat quiz again. <laughs> if you can tell by my Harry Potter shirt, um, so I did. So I did the Pottymore sorter sorting hat when it first came out. I think it was like maybe five years ago now, and I was sorted into Gryffindor which I found quite surprising. I was kind of expecting to be sorted into like Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw, but I got sorted into Gryffindor, so I figured I would take the test again and see if I'm truly a Gryffindor if or if I belong to another house. Forest or River? I like the river. Which of the following would you like to be would you like to study? Senators, goblins, mere people, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, trolls. I think mere people would be interesting. Mer people, mere If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Tabby cat, Siamese cat, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, towny owl, screech owl, bar brown owl, snowy owl, barn owl, toad, 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 and toad. I'm going to go with the barn owl. What kind of instrument what kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The violin, the trumpet, the piano, or the drum? Don't know about you guys, but I am a violin. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelled quill. Now he has now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Finnick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you, you to one side of his lesson and ask and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie, say you don't know, but hope that someone tells Professor, someone else tells Professor Flick, Flitwick, tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve, and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth, your classmate. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. Or would you not want would you not wait to be asked Professor F Professor Flitwick the truth if you knew that someone was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Uh, go with this one. Uh, which of the following would you, would you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, er, uh, ignorant, cowardly, selfish, selfish. A troll ha has gone berserk in the headmaster's study. Be at the at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue the items from the Trolls Club, if you could? Um, first, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Then, then student records going back a thousand years. Find. Finally, a mystery, mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. 
uh, same thing, just the records first, the book first. These are all the same things, just put in different orders. <laughs> There's only so many combinations. I think... I think I'm going to go with... This one. First, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Then a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Finally, student records going back a thousand years. Left or right? Well, I'm left-handed, so. Slytherin! What? What? Slytherin. Um, I know that not all Slytherin are evil, and I know I'm not evil. How did I get Slytherin? Uh... I almost want to take the quiz again. I almost want to take the quiz again. Just because... It doesn't make sense. It really, really doesn't. I... How did I go 180 with that? Because I, I can kind of understand, you know, going from, like, Gryffindor to Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. But, like... <laughs> Gryffindor and Slytherin are like complete opposites for the most part. Gryffindor is very bright. Well, like if you look at the houses alone, Gryffindor is very bright while Slytherin's very dark. I mean, I love the Slytherin. The Slytherindor. <laughs> Great job. I love the Slytherin colors, but huh? Hopefully, I can be like Snape and still be a good guy. Rest in peace, Alan Arkin. Anyway, um, so if that's not a, a house identity crisis, I don't know what it is because now I'm very confused on if I'm brave or if I'm sneaky. I honestly don't know. Um, if you guys have taken the quiz again recently or if you've taken it for the first time, let me know what your outcome was in the comments down below. I'm going to uh, lose my mind now as to trying to figure out how, um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you guys next video. Now, until next time, happy reading!